right sound off there seem to be several things in common with this water crisis in flint um also the local government in um st joe's of louisiana had the same problem and the commonality i see here is um St. Joseph, Louisiana was given $6 million to fix that infrastructure so the people could have clean water. And since it wasn't fixed, the money was supposed to have been frozen just before an internal audit was supposed to take place. And now it's under federal investigation. And Flint had been given money to fix theirs too. They were given 400, I'm sorry, wrong number, $4 million that was supposed to be invested in order to fix that. And it was supposed to be in Detroit. Also, in Ferguson and those nearby um, municipalities. Yeah, that's a different issue, but bear with me. This is, is some similarities here. There were complaints regarding over-policing and, multi and multiplying fines to the point where they had more warrants than people. Also, in Bridgeton, Missouri, there was a, a poorly attended landfill that had radiation in it that was so high that if a person were to take a sample um, from six inches from the surface, this takes six, six inches of soil, that had radiation levels off the charts. And the people in the area don't drink the water. They got steam coming up off the, um, off the, so, off the um, soil. And after that, you know, people couldn't sell their houses in Bridgeton, just like they can't sell their houses in um, Flint, Michigan. And the audits in Missouri were to be taking place before, um, before also, but before all of that happened, um, after the death of Mike Brown, the auditor showed up dead. You can look it up. The dude's name is Tom Swinge or something like that. Can't really pronounce it. But anyway, um, he was found dead because they found some, um, 28 people embezzling money in Jefferson City, Missouri. And I believe that, um, I came to this conclusion. Anytime that you find an injustice, or reason why things the way they are in these particular areas is because they got fraud going on, embezzlement, and possible racketeering. So the question I want to ask is, which officials will turn up dead, which will get transferred to different positions or different states or counties or municipalities? Um, every time somebody steps down or retire, there's always a reason for it. I suspect they involved in some sort of illegal activities because they want to cover it up by playing retirement or something like that. So that's it.